In 2000, Mouse Cannon shot the stage productions on an analog camera and edited it on a video editing system that was in its infancy stages. Output was at 320 by 240 blown to full screen, then captured on VHS. Please keep this in mind when watching. Times have changed, where just about all of us have digital video cameras with powerful video editing systems that produce above satisfactory results on our personal computers. Just before we go on, we've actually had an early retirement of a certain group member. <laughs> so, if you see someone with a script, it doesn't mean they didn't learn their lines, it just means we're missing a member. Anyone else want to quit? No! <laughs> 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 Jerry Springer show. <laughs> really unusual one. It's a bit of a break from tradition as well. People with secrets to tell their lovers. <laughs> First guest here today is Nigel. And Nigel has a secret that he's been hiding from his lover. Would you like to tell us what it is, Nigel? <laughs> yes. I just wanted to tell my lover that I was the first man ever to have his penis cut off. <laughs> first man? <laughs> That must have been quite an experience. And how old were you when this occurred, Nigel? I was five years old, Jerry. Five years old? Well, let's bring on your love of prophecy and see what she has to think about her this evening. <laughs> well, Flopsy, welcome to the show. How long have you been involved with Nigel for? Eight years, Jerry. Yeah, that's quite a long time. And how would you describe the relationship? Well, it's really good. It's very nice to be and always romantic. Sometimes I just feel that there's something missing. I mean, there's a lot of life out there who just don't like taking their pants off, so I don't hold that against him or anything. There's always been very funny about communal change rooms. And with the people we get on this show, who wouldn't be? But I'm not you say the relationship's good? Yes, it is. Well, I think Nigel has something he'd like to tell you. Fluffy, you know that I love you, but there's something I've been hiding from you. Well, actually, it's not something. It's nothing. <laughs> I have been hiding nothing from you. Nothing? Are you trying to tell me you've got no penis? <laughs> well, yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was the first man ever to have his penis cut off. <laughs> oh, Fluffy. <laughs> I can't help who I am. It was only, I was only five years old. It was just like any other play thing to me. You know how it is. That's why you always keep your pants firmly zipped and buckled. And that's why I don't bear my bottom in public. And that's what the cucumber was all about, wasn't it? <laughs> I just felt it was my duty to make up for what I lacked <laughs> in vegetables. You just decided that I'd be happy with fresh produce jammed up me, did you? Give <laughs> her what she wants. Here, yeah, Flopsy, have a carrot instead! <laughs> I said I'd never experienced anything like them. <laughs> but the watermelon, just what were you thinking? Do you even have a basic idea of human anatomy? I just want to make you happy, Fluffy. <laughs> can you ever forgive me? I can still be a man, you know. Oh, Nigel. Uh, Nigel, I believe there's something you want to show, Flopsy. Oh, God, no, please! Oh, yes. <laughs> Fluffy? I just wanted to say this. I may only <laughs> half the man when I make tons of money singing soprano. Oh, Nigel, how could I ever have doubted you? In brain! Ah! And what a touching scene that was. But what Nigel doesn't know is what he lacked whilst well, he was getting somewhere else. Oh! It's being married. <laughs> You bastard! Don't you put your hands on my wife! No! Ow! Hello, Barry. Welcome to the show. Uh, how long have you been involved with Flopsy for? Two years now. Two years? And did you know about Nigel in this time? I knew about him. Like, ten. He's not an analyst, you know what I'm saying? When I use his matron, I use it with skill. Is that true, Flopsy? Yes! Barry knows more about handling his proof than you ever will! <laughs> I feel the need to add yet another smart ass come in here. <laughs> but why? It you makes just me look like a woman. Yeah. That's what I thought. But you don't have a penis either! A man doesn't have a penis! He's only half 
a man without a penis, how could he ever satisfy you, Fluffy? That's all about to change, Nigel. Yes, isn't that right? Let's bring on our next guest. The doctor who will be performing the surgery on Barry. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Welcome to the show. Could you tell us a little about this procedure? Certainly. Well, we grow our donor penis in a specially prepared culture until the recipient is ready for attachments. <laughs> Which brings us to our final guest, the character at the center of it all. <gasps> oh. <laughs> my penis! <laughs> That's my penis! Oh my darling, where have you been all my life? <laughs> How do you know? I had one of those computer images done. <laughs> this is what your penis looked like when it was last seen. And this is what it may look like today. Oh, that's mine now, buddy. In a week, I'm going to be wearing it for pride. <laughs> no, I can't let him go. Not after all these years. Not my Elvis. Oh, just a <laughs> Isn't there something we can do for them? Can't we touch a hose for and let them both use it? <laughs> well, I suppose I could let it out on weekends. <laughs> I could probably arrange something with my Lego set. No, the villain's mine, you hear? <laughs> Actually, we are not sharing her. Then, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, Nigel, but the vegetables just don't cut it. <laughs> whenever I need to hear that sweet, sweet soprano voice, I can watch reruns of the show. Oh. That's so thoughtful of It no longer belongs to you. You need to forget the past and move on. Violence doesn't do anyone any good. Except for me, because I make a living out of it. <laughs> Always wash your vegetables before using them for perverse sexual practices. <laughs> never cross the road when the man's flashing red, because you never know when he will start flashing. <laughs> it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. The leprosy is the scourge of four minutes. I can stay up on peso de merda. Don't watch cow new chickens before they hatch, and you could be watching daytime television. Thank you for watching, take care of yourselves, and each other. <laughs> Taking to the Himalayas until society's morals change so I can legally marry my own penis! <laughs> 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 <laughs>